today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this. filming you want to make sure that you're filming in manual focus and make sure you're filming on a tripod too because you don't want the camera to move at all and as you can see i jumped onto a stool then jumped onto a chair then jumped onto my car obviously you don't have to use what i used but that was just what i had and also you don't have to do the side flip off the car yeah <laughs> and another important thing you want to remember when you're filming is you want to make sure you get a clean plate second step we need to do is rotoscope. There's many different ways you can approach this. I used After Effects Rotoscope 3.0, but the first thing I did is I used the clean plate that I got from filming and masked that over the objects I was jumping on. Then I began rotoscoping. It's really important to take your time when you're rotoscoping because you want the rotoscope to be as clean as possible because this step will either make or break your video. It is a very time consuming process, but it will 100% be worth it once you're finished. Also, don't mind the bonnet, you know, it's wash day. <laughs> take care of your hair. <laughs> and obviously your roto can't be perfect. I mean, unless you're just like that. But if you look closely at my video, you can definitely see some errors in the roto, but it's not really anything that the average viewer will notice when they're first watching your video so that's definitely something to keep in mind and when you finish you should have something that looks like this Next step is making the platforms that you'll be landing on. And of course I use Blender for this step. The design itself is actually pretty simple. Before you start creating your platforms, make sure the magnet key is selected and you choose the vertex options. Now whenever I duplicate my cubes, I can snap it back to other cubes and so that there's like no empty space between the cubes. And that's what I use to make the platforms, just cubes. Now this is where you can really experiment. I didn't really have a clear idea on how I wanted the platforms to look, so I just kind of duplicated a bunch of cubes and was putting them in random areas and try to make a platform out of them. At this point, the platforms look a little too blocky and boring. So what I did was I selected all the edges and by hitting control B, you can bevel those edges and it creates like an extra face in the middle. Then I selected the two bottom vertices and scaled them so the face looks more like a triangle. I also beveled all the top edges as well. Then I repeated this step for the rest of the platforms. Now we need to texture the platforms. The idea I had for this was really simple. I first selected all the faces that I created from beveling the edges. Then I assigned them to a separate material. Then I made sure that those faces were blue. And I used the emission color, which now looking back at it, I don't think it would have really made a difference. You can just use the base color option. Then I made sure to make everything else pitch black. Once you're done creating all the platforms, you're going to want to set up your rendering options. Since there's not much of a complex design in this and not really a lot of texturing, I pretty much just use Blender's default render settings. Then I rendered each platform separately just so it will make the compositing step a lot easier. Now back in After Effects, you can start adding the platforms to your scene. Then I made sure to add keyframes to the opacity so that whenever I land on the platform, it fades in. Whenever I would land on the platforms, my body would move a little bit, so I made sure to add keyframes to the positioning, and I matched the positioning of the platforms to my body so that it actually looks like I'm on the platform. 
Now the last step is really just making it look cool and unique. The first thing I did was I changed all the blending modes on the platforms to screen, so that way it gets rid of that black texture. Then I added a mask to the bottom of the platforms and then feathered it so it looks like it's kind of fading out a little bit. And I tried making it look more of like a holographic look. Then I added some glow and chromatic aberrations. I was mainly just experimenting with a bunch of different looks to see what looks better because I feel like especially as a VFX artist that is a super important thing to do is to not only go with your first idea but to experiment with other looks because one that's really how you learn more you you learn new techniques and you also might get a better result than what you had originally and for the last step i added some light reflections to the ground so that it makes the scene look a lot more realistic and now you're done if you guys enjoyed this tutorial definitely leave some suggestions in the comments of what kind of video you want me to make next and i also want to give like the community a name because i definitely feel like we're building like a community from this channel so i feel like it's only right that we have a name if you have any suggestions also put that in the comments and i'll see you next monday make sure you subscribe bye